Today's video is going to be on what you see in front of you. This is part of our radio relay station that we are trying to make up. Right now it's just parts, um, poles, the stand, uh, just a hammer that I have to put in stuff, and the bag to carry everything including the radio and various other pieces you need. I'm going to start putting it together and show you how it goes together uh, step by step. And if it, there's some long parts, I will speed it up. Okay, the first thing we're going to do when you get to a location would be unpack everything that you have here. Okay, um, we're going to start off with the stand. This is a little Christmas tree stand. Um, it's screwed together. And it's got spots where you can tie everything together. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your, find a nice soft spot or whatever, take your tent peg, put them in as good as you can. You might hit some rocks or whatever. Okay, your next step is your solid piece on the bottom. Now this has a, a 20 penny nail in it, or spike in it glued in place with screws holding it so it can't push up through. It is a little wobbly around here, but it does tighten up once it goes through here. Your first thing that you want to do is put it through the hole on the bottom. Okay, that's uh, loosen these up so it'll go down through. Okay, now you have it in a spot. Okay, that's down to the bottom. You get it tight in the holder. Okay. Next thing, secondary piece. Screws into the top one. Now, these originally were five feet each. So this one will put this at 10 feet to start with. Um, they were a little unhandy to carry in the bag, so I made them three feet. So now you have a six foot antenna. Third thing is you start to put together the antenna itself. First thing is to put in these rods that stick out. They go in these little holes here and you loosen up with the Allen key and they slide in. Then you tighten up and they lock in place. There are four and it might take you a little bit to get them in there and tighten up. I might fast forward through this. Takes a little while to tighten these up. But once you get them in there, they're solid. Now, for some reason, the Allens are tightened all the way down. I don't know why. Maybe that's when they were taking it apart, who knows. This one does not want to go in. So I don't know if it's running into something else. Or that's just how it fits. There it is. Has to be a little bit of a up and in type angle. Okay, tighten it up. Next step is take the mast, screw it in on top till it gets on there solid. Now you'll see there's a 25 foot cord on here. What you want to do is 
put this on. There are three holes. You know what? I'm going to make sure we're in frame here now. Just... I think we're out of frame the last time I was showing you this. You take this up, put it in here. Now there are three holes in this. So I'm taking it down to the first hole, which is right there. And I'm clipping this fast. Now, my opinion is take this down to a specific spot underneath the antenna for the fact that when you pull you won't be pulling the antenna over. Your next step is to screw the part on top of the radio okay you now have a 20 three six nine ten feet maybe eleven feet up in the air antenna you have ten feet and another fifteen feet of cable which you can then Mode. Use your radio. This is the new Baofeng with the dual push to talk. You push one way and it's channel A, push the other way it's channel B. So from this particular aspect, you could have the command channel that your leaders are on coming in, or then you could have a specific squad's channel as a second channel. What I envisioned this working as, um, instead of them calling for my call sign, I would be relay. In one of the fields that we're at, the one gentleman was up doing recon with a ghillie suit on, and he was telling people, oh, they're respawning four people, they're respawning three people, oh, two went down the road, two went up the road. People halfway on the field could hear him, but myself and two other people that were back uh, guarding a, a fort that we were it was part of the points we couldn't hear them if someone else would transmit and say grinder two coming back to us we see that then i would know two people were coming in as it is now though if i have this station set up and this radio going i would hear the initial contact of this person saying okay there are two contacts uh coming in from their spawn I could basically do, this is relay, two contacts coming in from Tan Spawn, over. And I could repeat that message. I could, I could say, this is relay, this is relay, two targets coming in from Tan Spawn, two targets coming in from Tan Spawn, over. They don't have to respond or reply that they got it or whatever. It's just relaying important information. If I hear a particular player say, uh, like, for example, Chip, Chip, this is Grinder, come in, and Chip is not responding, I can say, Chip, Chip, this is Relay, come in. He would come in, and, and I'd say, Grinder's looking for you, hold for Relay, over. And then I would contact Grinder and say, Grinder, Grinder, this is Relay, go ahead with your message, over. Grinder would tell me a message, then I would say, hey, this is Relay, they call us, over. Then I would finally go back and say, Chip, Chip, this is Relay, message from Grinder. Say the message, over. Chip will respond with an acknowledgement. This is just to relay uh, messages on a very large field where you lose some communication. Now, granted, on some fields where it's nice and level, you won't have a problem with the radio. But in these two particular fields we were at, the hills, rocks, mountains we went quite a distance too um they're actually at the shooting range that's what you hear in the background and they couldn't hear halfway through the field so this will give a little bit better response 
two people when they're using it. Breakdown is similar. Take it all the way down, take it apart, take this off, put it all in the bag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of it all apart and on the bag so you can see what the relay will look like when you're carrying it. Anybody can carry this. The radio is going to be available with an extra battery too so that we can run it all day. Okay, hold on. This is a look at the relay antenna from ground up. Of course, hammer, I don't know if I'm going to take that or not, but you have your tools, your radio, your cabling, your bottom stand, your first section, second section, third section, and antenna. I hope you found this uh, video instructional and a first look at our completed relay, relay radio antenna. Okay, thanks for watching, and you guys have a good day. Wow.